think uh, Balbuena deserves a chance next season. Uh, yeah, I think he does. Um, he's had quite a poor showing for what was uh, his time during this current season, uh, which is a shame because he started off his first season really well for us. Uh, his partnership with Diop was almost like a brick wall at times, and um, it, I don't really know what's happened with him. Confidence-wise, he just seems to be shot. He's not the same player he was. Um, I think everyone, you know, he, his nickname was the general at his previous club, and he and he seemed like that in his first season. But um, unfortunately, he, he hasn't started that many games this season. Even when he has done, he hasn't really shown much uh, much ability, much form. But I think given a chance next season, he, he definitely could. Um, and it's, it's about sticking by players. I, I've, I'm a big fan of his. I, I think it's a shame that he's he's not performed particularly well when he has done when he has been in the team this season. But um, you know, Obama seems to have uh, taken the form off him. He's been outstanding this season, which is um, quite you know strange for Obama. He's not always been the most reliable defenders for us. But um, maybe I'm, I'm wrong there. But from what I've seen, um, so yeah, I think Balbuena does need a bit with more of a chance. We need to stick by him, let him get his confidence up and hope he'll be a good player again, again for us. Does Fabian Balbuena have a squad place next year? Considering the form of Udbon and Diop, I think yes, that he does. Maybe not so much in the Premier League, but uh, I think that he would be a good uh, squad player to have for the cup competitions because we need quality centre-backs if we want to go uh, further in the FA Cup, for example. And as much as I like Cardozo and realize how big of a potential he has, and I don't think he's so ready, uh, at least for now. Uh, we have Alese, we have Baptiste upcoming as well. We have Rice who can play at centre-back. But unless we receive like a 10 million, 15 million pound offer for Balbuena, um, I think that we should keep him. He also offers uh, a good backup just in case Ogbonna or Diop get injured or suspended. So, yeah. Balbuena... He he should feature quite a lot, especially in the cups, as we love to struggle against the lower league opposition. And he has the quality and he has the leadership uh, to be a good enough centre back, even potentially captain of the side, uh, unless noble place, of course, to guide us to a high FA Cup finish. Now, this is a very interesting question posed to the group. Does Fabian Balbuena feature next season? There's a lot of variables in this, an absolute lot of variables. For example, whenever this season resumes, is he going to get a chance to prove himself? No, quite frankly, because uh, Ogbonna and Diop have been, have been having brilliant games this season. Ogbonna has been the better out of those two centre-backs, 100%. You know, Winston Reid is trying to prove himself, which is why he's gone out on loan to the MLS whenever this, their season's going to resume as well, for that matter, much less here. Um, and also you've got the likes of Cardoso, who's, who was supposed to have some form of feature this season, but hasn't so far lived up to the reputation that we when we signed him in the summer. We've also got 19-year-old um, Adj Adjaboa Elise, or Elise, or have you pronounce it, 19-year-old academy graduate that is out on loan at Accrington Stanley, very, very highly rated in the Premier League 2 juniors setup. So, does he feature in the starting 11 next season? Balbuena, not for me. Not for me, unless whenever the season resumes, um, Ogbonna and or Diop have massive, massive problems then I, I think those two are the centre-back pairing for a long, long time. Um, I mean, obviously, once Ogbonna retires, which is going to be maybe three, four years from now, um, Ogbonna has just been, has been my man of the match, and sorry, my man of the season so far. He really has been my hammer of the season so far. Balbuena, I don't think, is going to get much of a chance next season, unfortunately. Squad number, yes, very, very possible, but the rest of it, no. 
I can't see it. First of all, he's not called the general for nothing. He's a leader. We need leaders. You can't have enough leaders. Um, secondly, it's about squad depth for me. For me, he he's a good central defender. Nothing's changed there. Uh, he was good for us last season. He'll be good again. If we get injuries to our centre back pairing, then we're, we're going to need a good replacement. So I th I say he he plays a part for for West Ham next season for sure. So when it comes to Balbuena, I think we all need to remember that his first season was actually very very good. Now don't get me wrong, I think it was very very lucky. The idea of having him and Diop, two players who spoke different languages, came from different leagues, came from different teams, had never played with a goalkeeper before, never played with each other before, had never played with fullbacks before, had never played with the defensive midfielders before, used to both play on the same side of the fence and had to then split up and move into different ones. The fact that they came in and were so good together almost instantaneously was insanely lucky. Insanely so, right? But that doesn't change the fact that it existed. And I think one thing we all forget when we talk about players is the sort of recency bias of dipping form. It's like a player can regain form just as much as they can drop form. So when he loses form and he's been he has been terrible this year, don't get me wrong, that position was also his to lose because he was so good the season before, by and large. So good the season before. And I think when we discuss whether or not he should feature next year, we should remember that. Because ultimately at this point in time, he is our third choice centre back after Diop and Ogbonna. I can't think of many better third choice centre backs we could get. Right? If we sold him, would we get a profit? Yeah, of course we would. He, we would get a profit quite easily. But even then, we're not going to get a top tier centre back for the price we would get for him. You know? We have to be realistic about these things. He is a perfect third choice centre back, in my opinion. And it wouldn't surprise me if he got his form back. And we were talking about whether he should be starting ahead of one of the other two. Because that first year he was so good. And he does have the traits to be a very, very good Premier League centre-back, in my opinion. So does he still feature for me? Yeah. Yeah, he does. So uh, this week's question is, has Balbuena got a, um, a future at West Ham? Um, in my opinion, no. I'd sell him. Uh, I'm sorry to say, I'm disappointed. Because, you know, uh, he went to um, Brazil, to Corinthians in 2016, and he won the title and um, the Cups, two Cups, I believe, two Cups and the Serie A, as it's called their title. He was supposed to be a general at the back, that's his nickname. Um, you know, I thought he was going to boss it. You know, a real, like I said on previous videos, a Tony Adams-like player, was going to tell the boys what to do, boss him, boss them around, you know, and control it at the back. There was a glimpse of it last season, but it hasn't come to fruition. And you know, um, what's the word? There ain't no time in the Premier League, is there? You ain't got no one's given any um, time to do anything. So um, he's had his chance. I'd get rid of him, and I, I've said it. Uh, before, when we was talking about uh, who would we get, a midfielder or a central defender, I'd get Dunk from Brighton and let him lead it at the back. I think he's got what it takes. So I'd use that money from selling Balbina to um, to get Dunk. Um, you know, I'm trying to look to see how much we pay for him, but I can't see how much we pay for him. So um, I would use that money. What you get for that? Buy Dunk with him. It's a shame. You know, if, if you can't cut the mustard, you just got to go. It's just one of those things, isn't it, with the football? So, yeah, unfortunately not. I think it's time to go for him. Same as Winston Reid. He's just taking the money. He's no doing no good. Get rid of him. But free up a bit of cash. I mean, who's going to have Winston Reid? Because he's such injury pro. Just get rid of him all. And then use that cash cash to uh, strengthen the size in the, in the areas that we require them. You know? So, uh, well, there's my opinion um, for what it's worth. All right, take it easy. Um, up the hammers. Uh, stay safe. Keep well. Come on, your eyes. For West Ham fans everywhere, this is the ultimate football app for you. Never miss a thing with the latest West Ham news, gossip and social stories as they break. 
Download the free COY Irons app now from the App Store and Google Play.